Yeah. <laughs> Penalty. <laughs> oh my goodness. So has anybody guessed where we are? Anybody know? It's from one of my favorite movies. Yay. It's a background. Stephanie, do you know? I would think you would know. I'm going to give you guys a hint. It is from a Disney movie. My absolute favorite Disney character. Anybody know? We're in the moors from the movie Maleficent. And I absolutely love it. I'm a huge Maleficent fan, both animated and Angelina Jolie. Uh, I think she has a really cool name, by the way, Lover. No, my name's not Angelina, it's Angela, but still. Anyway, so here we are. Um, oh, Alan said there was a question. We went black now, what's going on? What happened? I'm testing you. Oh my God. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> my husband is testing my patience, I think. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Alan said that there was a question that somebody asked, do I ever get nervous? Strangely, and I don't because everything always goes so well. <laughs> we never have any technical issues. Everything is always really great. Um, but no, actually I, I would say I don't get nervous very much. I used to get nervous early on. I will usually get nervous the first time I'm about, I'm about to do something. So like way back in the day when I started doing the, the Crate and Craft and Ideal World stuff in, in the UK, um, I was nervous. It was the first time I was actually doing like a live television thing. So that made me nervous. Yes, blame the gnome. Is that what we're calling Alan now? Somebody said blame the gnome. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I don't, I don't think I get nervous and I, you know what, here's the thing. I, I, I attribute it a lot to my brother because I remember when my, my brother's three years older than me. And I remember when he was getting ready to graduate from college and he was doing interviews. He was interviewing, he's, um, and, and just doing a lot. And I remember saying to him like over a break when he was home, I remember asking him, aren't you nervous, you know, about the interviews and all this stuff. And he, he just kind of said, you know what? I just go in there, and, and if you knew my brother, you would understand this because this is just how he is. He just said to me, you know what, I just go in there and, you know, I know what I'm talking about and I'm just, I, I just act like myself and if they don't like me and they don't want me, you know, it was basically a, you know, screw them kind of an attitude, which doesn't sound very nice, but I couldn't think of another way to put it. And he just said, you know what, I, I know what I'm talking about and, you know, I'm a good person and... You know, it's their loss kind of thing was his attitude. I'm just going to be who I am. And so that's just kind of stayed with me. And I, and I kind of, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's an arrogance, but I think it's kind of a confidence. And I just kind of try and think to myself when I'm going to do something, I just say, you know what? I'm confident in what I'm doing. I know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm a good person and I'm just going to kind of be myself. And there's nothing more that I can do you know, than that. So that's kind of the attitude that I go into it with. So I think that helps keep my nerves down. So anyway, <laughs> I want to show you guys, I don't know if, if, um, if any, if any of you participated or attended the, um, the stamp and scrapbook expo over the weekend. Um, but I want to show you if you didn't, the, the, the video is actually, if you go to their Facebook group, or if you go to their YouTube channel, the videos uh, were just put up the pre-recorded videos and, um, I want to show you guys really quickly the cards that I made. I'm not going to walk you through them, but I just, I just want to show you because I think they're really, really cool. And if you haven't seen them, this is like my little advertisement to say, hey, go take a look. So give me just a second. I'm going to switch cameras here. Okay. This is the first one that I did. And in the video, I actually walk you, you know, step by step through putting this card together. And this was made with, uh, with several products from the new summer collection. And I just think it's so cute. I don't know if you can see the... Uh, the dimension in this card. So, you know, I've got the like the ocean back here. We've got the lighthouse with the little doors and all the little windows that open. And, um, and this little fence, this is one of, this is a die. And you cut it and it does all that automatically. All these little, like the fence is popped up and you, know, you just have to, you have, I mean, you have to pop them up. You just have to move them, but they're all cut and ready to do that. And if you stamp it on your watercolor paper or your paper that you want to use for colored pencils or markers or whatever it is, then you just color directly on there. And then this, of course, is our float your boat stamps. 
um, stamp set and then this is a really really cool stencil and then this was the other card that I made and I walk you through this one as well and I think it is just so cute then this was done with our brand new um, what is it called the slimline what is it called scalloped it's not scalloped it's the corner scallop slimline corner scallop die that's what this long die is and then this is the uh, day in the park stamps and so I walk you through that and I just think it is just the cutest little thing so anyway and we actually had bundles for these over the weekend and we had a special discount code and everything and um, what I didn't understand they had made some changes I guess to their program and I didn't know that they were going to be putting the videos like up on YouTube and stuff starting yesterday. And I didn't know that we were allowed to extend the coupon and, and, and like the show special and stuff. So anyway, I had some questions on it and I found out that I am allowed to extend it. So I've gone ahead and done that. So if you look in the store and you do a little search under bundles or look at the summer collection, you will see the bundles for each of these now and they're already discounted and then the show special i think we extended it through july 6th that discount can be used on any regularly priced item in in the store but it can also be used on those already discounted bundles so i'm telling you this because i want you guys to know it's a fantastic deal so all right and the video is really really cute it's, it walks you through you know all of the uh uh it, it walks you through each of those cards step by step so moving on to today, I could not wait to work with these. This, um, oh, and Alan wants me to also mention that we have very, very, very low quantities on this slimline die. This is the corner scallop slimline die. Extremely low quantities. I can't believe how fast we've gone through it. The other slimline die, the slimline scallop, is already completely sold out. And uh, we've ordered restock on these, but with shipping and in, in production and everything being a little bit slower during these, these COVID days, we're not going to be able to restock those until I think it's like mid to late July. So if you want that, that particular slimline, the corner scallop slimline, I would say get it because we don't have a lot left. Um, okay, so anyway... In my last video, when I did the, um, when I walked you guys through the entire summer release, this is the one that I said was my absolute favorite, and I really could not wait to work with it. So I'm working with it, and this this is actually why we're in, um, why my background today was from the Maleficent movie because it's the Moors, and that's where you know like the fairies and everybody they're they're all in there, and I just it's just a magical place, and it's the first thing I thought of when I saw these these gnomes. I think that that that's exactly where they would live. So I wanted to play with these gnomes and I'm actually working with both of the coordinating dies with it as well. So I've already done most of the work just because it was a lot of stamping and coloring and die cutting. But I wanna show you how, I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna put this together exactly. I have an idea in my head and so I wanna kind of show you and walk you through this, what my idea is and the only other the only other product that I used was this. This is from our um, In the Grass uh, stents, or, uh, die set. It's a set of three dies. So we have like the hill and then we have the valley. And then this is like the flat plane. So this is the one, the only other piece that I used. So I'm going to get my glasses on real quick. If you guys have any questions, please, please ask them. Alan will put them up on the screen for me. So what do I have here? I've got my A2 card base. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. It's actually half sheet um, of uh, letter size. And for this, people always ask me, do you use a really thick, heavy card stock for your card base? I don't. I mean, I'm guessing this is maybe 60 pound. I don't worry about that being heavy because I always use a card topper. Uh, and I usually have a lot of layers on my card anyway in a lot of pieces so it I, I don't worry about my card base being really um really really strong if i'm not going to do that if i'm not going to have all those layers then i would probably use in like in a, um maybe a 80 pound or 110 pound so these are the two pieces that i cut let me make this a little bit brighter here there we go these are the two pieces that i cut with the die with that grass die and my intention is that one's going to layer up over the other and we're going to have some dimension there. And then 
These are just my card tappers. I have two in case I made a mistake. And they're just A2 as well, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then here is the fun. I have this idea in my head. Oh my goodness, I should have sorted this out. I think I regret every time I do this and I spill it all out and I have a mess. <laughs> so I went ahead and I stamped in this particular uh, stamp set we can piece together and uh, this tree so we can build the tree so you have like the main trunk which is right here and I stamped it and I actually didn't line up my die very well but it doesn't matter um, we're gonna be covering a lot of that anyway and then I stamped two of the longer branch and then three of the shorter branch and I went ahead and I colored them and I because I don't know exactly what direction they're going to go in if, if it's going to be on the left or the right I colored them so that the highlight was in the middle that way it's as though the light source is right in the front of the tree instead of like up above it normally I would have left like the top of the branches maybe um, or the well I would I, I would pay attention to like you know if the top of the branch was going to be seen or if it's going to be covered with a lot of greenery then there might be a shadow there um, but anyway I, w I just decided to make it in the center because I don't know how this is going to come together so here's all my pieces for my tree and then I colored up a bunch of these little gnomes that's not a gnome here we go these are all colored with Copics here is, look at that, that's one of my favorite pieces of the, little, of the gnome set. It's just this beautiful, I love birds, and this is just a cute little bird's nest. Here's these two little kids just kind of piggyback, and this one is playing his little handmade flute on a mushroom. I colored up, I did two birds. I colored them up in blue because the blue jay is my favorite bird. And here's this other little guy. They're just kind of dancing a bit. And I did this little um, owl because I love owls. How long were you coloring today? You know, that's a good question. I would say maybe 30 minutes. These are such an easy, quick color. And these, I got to tell you, are the easiest things to color. And if, if you notice, I didn't worry about them being absolutely perfect, and they're all a little bit different. I just used a light medium and a dark green. And um, I didn't really worry about them being perfect or being colored the same. They're all similar, but I wanted that variation of color, and, and I wanted that, that texture, and I wanted it to look like the light was catching from, you know, every which way. So I'd say about 30 minutes. If you notice, I don't have a lot of shading in here. And I don't worry about that with these little characters. I don't think it's necessary to do a lot of shading with them. Uh, this little guy, I'm not sure if you can see. Can you see? You can't really see the gray on there, I think just because of the light. But I just have a little bit of gray on the outside of him to give him a little bit of color. But two shades of blue. Um, so it was, it was pretty easy, maybe 30 minutes of coloring. And then it took me about maybe 10 minutes to cut everything out. Something's... Is that? Oh, no, that one's okay. It went black. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm asking him about the screen in front of me. So um, let's see. Let's go ahead and get started. I have an idea of what I'm going to do. And this is just going to be assembly. So this card topper is the same size as my card. And normally I would leave a little bit of a frame around it, but I don't want to worry about it with this because my idea is that this is going to be a really full tree and that's why I have so many leaves. So, oh, I wanted to show you this. <laughs> this is my husband. <laughs> this, is, this is my husband's idea. I pulled out my foam roll because it's so small I can fit it in the camera. And he immediately got a little bit corny and said, oh, you have to put one of your lip stickers on there. And then we have to make some eyes. And so this is, this is what I live with, folks. This is my husband's idea. <laughs> and the back was his other idea. He said to me, because I'm going to be doing a lot of, using a lot of foam. He said, why don't you go ahead and cut a whole bunch of the squares and put them on there so you don't have to cut them all during the video. So that's what we're doing. That's why I have that all in the back. 
that's usually how I, I add all my extra little pieces anyway. So, but this is my foam roll. And if you don't already know, I use the scotch. Um, and this is probably, I don't know, maybe half the size that it started. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to get this, get this layered up. This first one, I'm going to put this first layer of grass right down flat on the cardstock. So let's see. And I am hoping this is going to come together like I want it to. We'll see. Um, I am going to cut, this is really thin, this next piece, and my foam is, is not. See how thick my foam is? So I'm going to go ahead and cut my foam into a couple of strips here. Because I'm, I want to pop up this other piece so it gives me some dimension. Oops. There we go. Let's put this other piece here. And let me do a little bit on the end just because I like to have, make sure that it's got that strength that it needs on the other side. Okay. So I like to, I, when I first started this, I only had the first piece cut of the grass, but I started to think, you know, I really like to have dimension on my cards. There we go. And that just gives me that little bit of dimension. It just kind of gives a little bit of a, I don't know, kind of a realistic look and I like it. So my next idea is to put this tree and it's going to go off the edge. So I'm going to have to trim it. What I want to do with this is I don't want just to have the tree like the, I, I think the first inclination is to put the tree off to the side and have a branch coming over to, you know, across the rest of the card. But I don't want to do that. I want to do something a little bit different and I want to put it right in the middle, just like this. So I'm going to run my tape right down the center and I'm going to tuck it a little bit behind that first layer of grass. And then I'm just going to come in with my scissors and trim off the part that overhangs. Okay? There we go. And now I want to start positioning these and I may have to lift this up a little bit now that I think about it. I probably shouldn't have pushed that down. Let me lift that up. Thankfully it's a little forgiving because I didn't have it sitting there too long. But This is kind of what I'm thinking here. So let me, and I want to hide the end of this underneath. That's why I wanted to peel that back up. So I'm going to put that piece just like that. I like to trim it from the back. It helps me to see better. Cut the rest of that branch off. And then this one, let me see. This is where I just kind of have to lay them on here and see how it looks. And you need to know that not all of this is going to show because I am planning on putting a lot of the greenery on there, a lot of the leaves. I don't know if I like that. Let's see, I can go like that. And that way that just kind of comes out from the side. And I know it looks kind of weird right now. I think I might even lift this one up a little bit higher. So this is part of the playing. This is where I have to, this is where you kind of have to decide how you want it to look. Okay, so let's do this. 
Are there any questions from anybody, Alan? No. No questions? All right. No, not that I found yet. I'm still working. Okay, so this is going to line up here. Oh, then your tape needs a name. Need My a name. tape needs a name? Throw a tape. <laughs> Well, that's interesting. My tape, what can I call my tape? Oh, come on. All right, let's put that there. Oh, my. What? It's starting to look like. Starting to look like what? Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> Wizard of Oz. Well, you know, the thing is, is a lot of this is going to be covered. And I just want to see the branches. I'm going to lift this back up. If you were a tree, which tree would you be? If I were a tree, <laughs> I would be a blue spruce. It's my favorite tree. That was an easy question. All right, let me tear that and go like that. Right now I got tape on me. Okay. So yes, if I were a tree, I would be a blue spruce. So yes, I know this looks kind of weird right now, but trust me, I'm going to be covering a lot of the excess that you see here. I got extra tape here. Let's get that off of there. Ah. So this is one of those times where you have to say, you just kind of have to say, you know, I have this vision. I'm going to go with it. And... Hopefully it's going to come together. <laughs> this could be a massive live fail. <laughs> Epic, fail. Epic fail, yes. Okay, so here's my trees. What color, what did you color the tree with? I actually used Copics. And I got to tell you, I knew somebody was going to ask me that. So here are the colors that I used, my Copics. I used E30, 31. Let me turn these. All right, here we go. Put my threes over here, my fours. All right. Well, all right, that's just going to have to do. So I have E21, E43 and 44, and E30, 31, and 35. Those are the colors I used for the tree. And I was going for a real, I went in kind of a caramel color to my tree. What size is the tree stamp? The tree stamp itself is about five and a half inches in height. So it's a good size because if you can see, remember I had to cut a little bit off the top and this comes almost down to the bottom and this card is five and a half inches. So from here, I want to show you how I'm going to start positioning some of these leaves like so. And what is up with this tape? It's doing something funky. Yeah, it's the operator. Here we go. So I'm going to start putting... No, 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 no. Not in there. You need to be very flat when you do Okay. I'm going to actually pop some of the, flip some of these up a little bit. I'm kind of bending them. And I'm going off of the card just a little bit wherever needed. There we go. Did I forget? Oh, this one didn't get glued down. Let's do this one. Somehow I neglected that. I trimmed it, but all right, now I gotta figure out where it goes. Let's line that up. There we go, that'll work. So I'm gonna put some of these down. Now the leaves, one of the things I love about this set is we have these different clusters of leaves and you can actually choose two different types of leaves. So I like these, I wanted these where they're a little more almond shaped. And then we have these, they're a little more like, I don't know what they're, it's not like a maple leaf, but they're a little more rounded. And so you've got a couple of choices here and then you have several options, you know, a few different options with this leaf as well. And here's a single one. So you can really choose and you can mix those up and so we have the larger clusters of each and then the smaller cluster. So you can create a couple of different types of trees there. So 
So I'm just going to start putting these down and building the top of my tree. And I will go through, potentially, I might go through and trim those, and I may not. I'm not sure. I might just leave it. Just to have that texture up at the top of the card, because I think it's kind of pretty. And so I'm going to put this one right here. Actually, I'm going to have that come in a bit. And I really like the idea of just kind of mixing these up. And this is going to kind of create that little bit of a canopy over the top of the tree. And now I'm going to start, here's where I want to be very careful because I want to make sure I can get my little guys in here, all my little critters and stuff. So where's my foam? Here's my foam. Uh, let me grab a little piece here. I'm going to put this on the back of my, this little nest. And I'm going to put the nest right here. So it's kind of sitting in the tree. And let's see. Let me get a piece for this little bluebird here. And I'm going to have her, you know what, I don't know if I want to put her on yet. Let me get a few more leaves before I put her on there. Thinking about where I can put him. I'm going to set him right up here on this branch. So he's already up on foam. And I may lift him off and do something else with him. I'm not quite sure. We'll have to see how this works out. Do you have any comments from anybody yet? Any questions or anything? Um, someone mentioned a swing. Oh, a swing? Yeah. Any tips for getting your tree to look balanced? Um, yeah, that's a good question. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out. And so somebody says, any, any tips for getting your tree to look balanced? And my husband said, well, we'll find out. <laughs> and I think he's right. I mean, this is the first time I'm doing this, so. Um, Sentiment alert. <laughs> yeah. You know, and see what I mean about covering up a lot of this anyway? Oops, I should probably take this back off of that. This is why I was saying I'm not too worried about the branches. Um, I'm going to be covering up a lot of it at the top anyway. So I'm going to take one of these smaller ones now and put it over here by this guy. And I'm going to leave that little bit of branch poking out there. And then maybe take another little one here. I better cut some of this off of here. Actually, do I want to take a bigger one and tuck it in here? I'm going to tuck it maybe a little bit behind that branch and leave some of that out. I like that. I like it with the tip of the branch sticking out. I would say as far as balancing the look of it, I would suggest always working your way kind of top to bottom and across. That's what I'm trying to do. So I don't know if it's going to end up looking balanced or not, but that's what I'm trying to do. It does? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Alan said it looks good. <laughs> well, you know, when you don't only have the branches there. And... Yeah. Yeah, I think it starts to fill in nicely. So here's another one. I'm kind of wishing I had a few more of the larger. Maybe some dead branches. Did I forget to take? I did. I forgot to take that off of there. I'm wondering why it wasn't sticking. I'm going to leave some little holes so you can see the branch through there. And let's maybe cut this a little bit. You have to remember, I mean, nature isn't perfect. 
So if it doesn't end up looking perfectly balanced, I wouldn't worry about it because nature is not perfect. I mean, look outside at you know, any trees that you have around your house and you'll see that um, nothing's perfect about it. That's, I think, the beauty of it is that it's just so natural. So here we go. I'm going to tuck this one up here. I think that looks kind of pretty. I don't know if I want to add any more. What do you think, Alan? I like it the way it is. I think I'm going to leave that, and we're going to start adding some other little things. So Sheila said do the bottom leaves first and then layer over the top. Or you did the leaves and you stuffed them underneath. Yeah, I, well, I ended up tucking some because I didn't know how it was going to go. So, you know what? I don't think I want foam on this piece. Let's get that off of there. I think I just want tape. I'm going to add, like, some fallen leaves down here. Just give me a little more, a little bit of a texture down there. I don't like where that is. There we go. I think that's kind of cute. And then, this is where I want to get this little bird. I'm going to pop him up here. I think he looks kind of cute. He's looking down into what? Someone said, I can't find it again, but somebody said, like, you get that hole there in the tree. Over here? No, the, the, the hole there. The oh, this, the knot? You could have something, a slider come in and out of there. Oh, that's a cute idea. I could. Somebody suggested having a slider come in, out, in and out of there. I think that's a super idea. We're coloring up the leaves as bananas. So here is something. I have to decide how I want to do this. Mower. Oh, what's your favorite animal? What is my favorite animal? Um, I love, I, I, I would have to say my favorite animal altogether is, is a big cat. I love big cats. Like, like lions and tigers yeah. and cheetahs. Um, I absolutely love big cats. Strangely, though, when it comes to domestic animals, I prefer dogs to cats. And it's not that I don't like cats. I love cats. I've had cats. Um, but I had two female cats who, um, were not, uh, they just weren't very snuggly. And all the dogs I've had have been very, very snuggly. I think that's kind of cute. Somebody's asking, Lisa's asking, when is the HSN sneak peek? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> as soon as I have time to record it. <laughs> I will probably be recording it next week, and I will probably be putting it up um, about a week before. HSN, uh, the HSN shows are going to be on the 14th of July, and um, I think this is how this card's going to go. Okay, so the HSN show is going to be on the 14th of July, and I will try and put the sneak peek up uh, within a week before. So I think, that, uh, so it's somewhere in the week before. I think this is where we're going to go with it, but I'm going to get a sentiment on here. And so before I go too far, and I couldn't do my sentiment before because I didn't know how this was going to play out. So let's get these guys off of here for right now. And let me get my Misty. This is my little mini Misty. Let's see if I can fit this in here with everything. Is that going to work? Yeah, it'll work. So I'm going to lay my magnet over here on this side because I'm going to put my sentiment up here because my little gnome who's on the back of that butterfly is going to be on the left. So let's see. I've got thanks so much, lucky to have you, from my gnome to yours, and there's no one like you. Well, you know what? I'm not using the mushroom. I don't think I have room for the little mushroom cr uh, character here. So I'm going to put lucky to have you because I think that's really cute. I like these sentiments. You know, we, we, do, we do our sentiments in different sizes. And this one is, these are a little bit on the smaller side, which is really nice so you could tuck them in. So I'm going to center that kind of left to right. 
uh, between the, the tree and the edge of the card. Let's see if I can get that to pick it up. There we go. <laughs> Crossing my fingers that this will stamp just because of the thickness of the card. So here we go. Make sure it's not upside down. Oh, I over inked. Lucky to have you. Let's press that. I got to press pretty hard because my card is thicker. And look how perfect that is. It is super cute. I think I've got the brightness on a little too much. That looks really cute. I have a question. What's your question, Alan? We're asking the discount code. What does that apply to? Uh, the, the, the discount code. Is it just the bundles? Which discount code? The one that I mentioned earlier? SSB. The SSBE20 discount code is the one from the Stampin' Scrapbook Expo at Home. That, that discount code is good for 20% uh, off of all regular priced items that are in our store. Okay, and if that doesn't... But, hold on. But we've also included the two Stampin' Scrapbook bundles. So the Countryside Bundle and the Seaside Bundle even though they're not regularly priced, because we've already discounted those 10%, even though they're not regularly priced, we've included them in that, in that discount as well, that 20% discount. So if you were to get those bundles, you would get the 10% off, use the discount, you'll get another 20% off after the 10%. So it'll be 10% discount and then 20%. So it's a fantastic savings on those bundles. I would snap those up. All right, so let's see. Does that answer the question? I think so. Someone said they didn't think it applied to the regular price item, but if it doesn't, they can send you email. Yes, if for some reason we missed one of the items, if it's a regular priced item and the discount's not coming off of that, then go ahead with your purchase, put it through, send me a message. You know, send us a message to customer service and let us know that you used the discount and it didn't apply to the regular priced item and we will correct that for you. We will credit you for that amount. Let's see, actually I gotta make sure I put this in the right spot. I don't wanna cut anybody's head off here. All right, that works. There we go. So let's see, I need a couple more for these little guys. So these two are dancing, it looks like. Just so cute, just playing. Frolicking, how's that? <laughs> I think that's cute. They're frolicking. And then this last one, we get a smaller piece. Here we go. I gotta tell you, I am really happy with how this is turning out. I can't believe how many pieces I'm able to put on this card. I love these because these these little gnomes are they're they're pocket pails. Pocket pails means that they're really tiny. Um, not so tiny that you can't handle them but tiny enough that we can fit a whole scene in several different uh, characters all over the card, and I just love it. I call them pocket pails because they're, they're so tiny I can put them in my pocket. I thought that was kind of cute. So here we go. Now the last thing we need to do is adhere this to the front of the card. You know, the first name I just thought of is Gloria. I don't know why. Gloria for my, my tape glider. The, Gloria. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's because I saw the gl, <laughs> the GL. <laughs> I don't know. Did you do this already? Did I do what? Uh, when is the sneak peek? Oh, and Becky is saying, are you ever going to have the ferry auto ship that you had a few months ago on HSN? Uh, no, I am sorry to say we are not. That was uh, an exclusive item with HSN, so it will not be offered anywhere else. One of the things I will tell you 
about the auto ships. I mean, we, we had a very successful auto ship. Um, we're extremely happy with it. I'm hoping we're going to be doing more. I would say when it comes to the auto ships, um, don't, uh, don't hesitate. Don't miss them and don't, don't hesitate because when they're gone, they're gone. The auto ships are only offered on the one day and, um, and they are exclusive. So we, we, we're not, we, we don't offer them anywhere else. Um, and they are usually a fantastic deal. So, and, and those, they're just so cute. I just love them. Uh, hopefully we'll be doing some more auto ships next year. We don't have any schedule for this year, but I'm hoping for next year. Can I, so can you post that on HSN somewhere and ask for, for it to come back? Yeah. You, you know what? Here's the thing that, that Alan just brought up a really good point. You know, anytime you have a question and you want to see something again on HSN, absolutely pummel them with questions, <laughs> you know, with requests. If there's anything you want to see, anything you missed, anything you want to see again, um, you submit those because they, they pay attention to all the questions that come in. And if they're getting enough requests for something, they might bring it back. So I would say absolutely ask them. That's a very, very good point, Alan. Thank you. So here's my card. I hope, gosh, I hope you like it as much as I do. I think it turned out so cute. Look at the dimension on that card. All that texture by popping up these different layers. The ones in the back I, I, at the top when I started putting them, I put those flat because I wanted the ones in the center to be a little, a little more like toward me, just like they would be, you know, if I, if I were looking at a tree, the tree kind of comes out you know, it's going to be recessed a little bit further away from me, I should say, um, up towards the top. And then the branches start to come out. And I like seeing the look of the different branches coming out and some of them peeking through. I think that's kind of fun. Um, I think it turned out really cute and I'm really pleased with it. Do you like it, Alan? Yep. Yay. I like it. Okay, so let's switch our camera back. Hey there. <laughs> I'm really pleased with this. I think it turned out very, very much like what I had in, in my head. So I'm really happy with it. I, I think it's really great. I love all of the new products and um, I'm gonna be using them over the coming weeks and just kind of showing you kind of my, you know, my take on them and, and you know, what I think is fun. Um, I would say absolutely check out our inspiration blog and check out our Facebook, uh, Facebook group. If you're not already a member, join it because our design team posts some fantastic things. But not only that, you know, we want to see what you guys are doing too. That's why we have the group. It's not just to go and, and see what the design team is doing. It's so that you guys have a place to share your work and, and, um, you know, we just love to see what you guys are doing because everybody has a different take. You know, when you look at, at, you know, a stamp set or a die set, you know, you, you kind of get an, at least I do, I kind of get a feeling for what I'd like to see with it or what I think I can do with it. And, um, and everybody always has a different vision. So we really want to see what your vision is and what you guys put together. And so definitely share those um, in our Facebook group. Uh, just click, click join when you go to it. Um, Instagram is another fantastic place for you guys to, you know, share something on your Instagram and make sure that you tag us, um, hashtag LDRS creative. Uh, that way we will know that you've posted it and we'll be able to go check it out and see what you've done. Um, and I would say also check out those, those, those places too, to see what else we're posting. And if we've got discount codes and, you know, on our YouTube channel, you know, we've, we've, we've got videos that go up, um, every week we've got a new video and I'm actually going to be recording a lot of videos in the coming weeks not only for HSN, but also with this summer collection to get, uh, to get a lot of fun things out there to you guys. So um, let's see, we have some more questions. Erlene is saying, are your stamps acrylic or polymer? They are photopolymer. Our stamps are photopolymer. They're made here in the United States. So they are photopolymer, which is the highest quality and they're absolutely fantastic. We used to, we used to do rubber stamps early on um, because we wanted to, you know, with the rubber stamps, you can get really, really fine detail and with the acrylic stamps, you can't really do that great a job. You can't get you can't get that real fine detail with them. So once we discovered the photopolymer as opposed to acrylic, the photopolymer is just um, it's incredibly high quality, just like the rubber stamps were. Um, but it's really nice because you can see through it. It's it doesn't yellow. It doesn't have a smell or anything like that. But we can, we can do really really fine detail on our stamps as well as stamps and images that are. Um, 
a little more clean and simple, which we do a lot of, but they're, they're fantastic. So we love them. And they are made here in the United States. So that's a really, really big bonus too. Anna, what am I looking at here? Just ignore that. <laughs> There's, can you get rid of that screen so I can see the next question? I can if I can find my mouse. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle is asking, are you going to do a tutorial with the mermaid set? Yes, I am. Absolutely. And I'm going to be playing with our new stencils as well. Those stencils are fantastic. I got to tell you, we have so much fun. Stencils are, are you know, I mean, I remember working with stencils, stencils a long time ago and, you know, I just kind of got tired of it, whatever. And, um, but we have brought them back with a vengeance. They are absolutely amazing. And we have a lot of stencils, very unique. We, we, we do a lot of different things with our stencils that you won't see elsewhere. So um, we're really, 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 we've got a really, really talented group of, of illustrators. So they're just fantastic. But yes, I will be using the mermaid scent. I don't know exactly what day, um, but it will be coming up. Any other questions? Um. Yes. <laughs> yes, what? But I haven't had time to type it. What do you do with all the cards you make on these videos? What do I do with all the cards that I make on these videos? Well, you can't see because behind me you're seeing the moors, but I actually have a lot of them behind me. <laughs> um, because, you know, I just started doing these videos uh, just a few months ago. So, God, is it, has it already been a few months? My goodness yeah, gracious. Three or four months. That's crazy. Um, so, and I, I usually when I'm making cards and stuff, I'm doing them for like trade shows and things like that. And so, you know, now I've, I have, I have them, <laughs> I have a mm -hmm. stack of them. I'll probably save some for trade shows. Some of them may even go out to some retail stores, um, so that they can show them in their retail stores. They'll, they'll get like some of them when they, when they purchase some of our products to go in the stores. And then that gives them some samples to put in their stores so that when you go into the retail store, you can see some of the card samples and what you can do, kind of an inspiration of what you can do with our products. So that's probably where some of them will go. And then I give some of them to, um, to family as well. Although I'm very, very much known for making cards for everybody but family. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Well, because I make them and then they're kind of like my babies. I don't want to give them away. <laughs> So, I don't know. Anyway, we've got a giveaway. Let's see. See, I have the lips on there so that I don't use these. We're giving away, we're going to give away the gnome stamps and the gnome dies. Yay! What we used today, and that way you can make, you're probably not going to be able to see a lot of the card because i got the green screen and everything's green, but it's actually not bad on that screen. Um, but yeah, so you can make your own card. And uh, so we're going to give these away. We need, Alan, I don't know what's going on with the screen in front of me there. Nothing. But ignore but, that. Okay. <laughs> Can you give me a name for the winner? Has everybody got their, comment, their comments in? Ooh, Allie Santa Clara. Allie Santa Clara, you have won. Yay. You're the winner. All I need you to do is um, either send me a private message in Facebook or you can send us an email at, um, and hopefully Ellen will type this in, customer service. I gotta get this up on the screen. I keep forgetting to do that. So the email is customer service at ldrscreative.com and that will get to us. And then um, make sure you put your, uh, your complete mailing address in there so we know where to send your prize to you. Yay. <laughs> These are so cute. On the back of them, I don't know if I showed you guys the back. So the back of the stamps, I'm sorry, here's the stamps. The back of the stamps, we give you kind of an idea of how you can color them. And then the back of the dies, we show you which die goes with which stamp. So it's really kind of easy peasy, lemon squeezy for you. They're so cute. I love them. And so, what? Linnea said some of the cards she gives back, she gives to her husband. <laughs> what? She gets to her husband so he can write stuff in them. Oh, Linnea <laughs> said, Linnea is one of our fabulous uh, designers, design team gals. She said that when she's making cards, sometimes she gives some of them to her husband so that he can write a note in them and give them back to her. <laughs> that is a great idea. I think that's awesome. <laughs> 
That way you know you're getting a fantastic <laughs> homemade card. You could, you could buy presents too. <laughs> yes, I did that. Alan says if you could buy presents too. I, I actually did that once. I kind of freaked him out. It was Christmas morning and we opened up all of the presents already and there was one box under the tree. I think it was my very, was that my very first Kate Spade purse? I, don't know. <laughs> I think it was. And I said, oh my gosh, there's another present under there. And I pulled it out of there and it had my name. And he's got this blank look on his face. And my son, our, our son was little at the time. And he's, he's like, who's that from? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. And I opened it up and I went, Alan, Alan, <laughs> you got me a Kate Spade. <laughs> it was funny. So, I don't know. I think it's a great idea. You know, if you want something, it's kind of like, you know, if you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. You know, get get yourself what you want for Christmas. <laughs> that way you're guaranteed to get what you want. <laughs> anyway, I think we're a little bit early unless anybody has any more questions. Anybody? Don't see any. No? All right. Well, I am suddenly in the mood to watch Maleficent, so I'm thinking maybe we'll watch that tonight. I love it. It's one of my favorites. And the, actually, both of them, because the, I, I just watched the second one like maybe a month ago, and I loved it. Loved it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. I have no idea what I'm going to be working on on Thursday, but it's going to be something from the new collection. Uh, so we'll see. But it, it, it will be from the summer collection. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm thinking I'm going to do something with some, some of those stencils, though. So maybe it'll be the mermaids. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I will try and announce it ahead of time, but um, you know how that goes. So this, is it this way? Yeah, see that guy over my shoulder? Isn't he cool? Can you see him, Alan? The, the stone, he's... Yeah. The, yeah, I just think he's so cool. I, I'll tell you, if I could have been like a graphics designer, like for movie set stuff, this is the kind of stuff I would have done. I think it's just beautiful. Love it. Anyway, thank you guys so much. I will be back on Thursday. I hope you guys will too. And um, it was an absolute pleasure. I had fun. And uh, I think that's about it. So thank you. Bye, everybody.